find the cosecant of the arc sine of three-fifths. So first of all, what this means, let's just go back and think about what this means. This right here is some angle. That's some angle theta. This is the, this is the angle that has a sine of three-fifths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a triangle. Remember, the sine is three-fifths in... I like to draw my, my coordinate axes always. The sine is positive. Notice that it's a positive three-fifths. So the sine, which is the y-coordinate, is positive here and here. And um, the arc sine is defined in the first quadrant, not in the third quadrant. The sine is defined in the, the arc sine. The range of the arc sine is first and fourth quadrant. It's between negative 90 and positive 90 degrees. So that's why I know it's not, I don't have to look in that quadrant. So I'm going to draw my triangle in the first quadrant here. Remember, it comes out like that. And there's my theta. And so the opposite is 3, and the hypotenuse is 5, because that's what sine is. It's opposite over hypotenuse. Mm. So that's my angle. So now what they're asking is, what's the cosecant of that angle? Well, the cosecant of an angle is just the reciprocal of the sine. So the cosecant would be 5 thirds because it's the hypotenuse over the opposite. So your answer for this up here, let me turn back to green, your answer for the cosecant of the arc sine of 3 fifths is 5 thirds. Now let's try a different one. What is the, let's change it up just a little bit. What if I said the sine inverse, and by the way, you can say sine inverse that way, arc sine and sine inverse, they mean the same thing, of, what if it said negative three-fifths? It'd be in the third quadrant? Now it would be in the fourth quadrant. Oh, yeah, okay. It, can be, it could be in the third and fourth quadrant, but the arc sine is only yeah. defined here, so, so remember. That's in the third. Right, so it's going to be in this quadrant right here. And again, I'm going to draw my triangle, and the opposite, here's my angle, theta. This whole thing is just theta. And this is negative 3, and the hypotenuse, which is always positive, is positive 5. Mm -hmm. And so the cosecant would be, again, 5 mm -hmm. over 3. Okay. Negative 5 over 3, yeah. I should say. So what you'll notice is the pattern for this. If this cosecant and sine inverse is you just basically, it's just flip that. That's the pattern that you'll mm -hmm. notice. But what if you have something like this. What if it, instead of cosecant, what if it said secant of the sine inverse of negative three-fifths? That's a more complicated problem because now, again, I'm going to take my, that angle right there is in the fourth quadrant and there's negative three and there's five, so this is going to be positive four, mm -hmm. three, four, five triangle. There's my theta. And now I'm asking what's the secant of that angle. Well, the secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, so it's 5 over 4, mm -hmm. not negative 5 over 4, so it's or ni not 5 thirds. I don't just flip this because I'm finding the secant yeah. of that angle theta, and so the secant is 5 fourths. Mm -hmm. Let's do a trickier problem, kind of the other direction. Now I'm saying, what's the arc sine of the sine of 330? A lot of people think, oh, well, maybe they don't think this, but a natural thing to consider would be that these would just cancel each other out, and your answer would be 330. Mm -hmm. But that's not true because, let's look at this. Here's 330 right here. So what's the sine of 330? It's negative 1 half. Mm -hmm. But where is the, so this is, equal to the arc sine of negative one-half. But now you have to consider this problem separately. What is the arc sine of negative one-half? In other words, what angle has a sine of negative one-half? Mm -hmm. And that angle, remember, the range of the sine is in, it's in the first and the fourth quadrants, but in the fourth quadrant, you don't say it as 330 degrees, you say negative 30 degrees. Oh, okay. So it's, it's from negative 90 to 
positive 90. That's where the arc sign is right there. Mm -hmm. So you don't call this 330, you call it negative 30. Okay. So the answer to this question is negative 30 degrees, which is coterminal with 330, mm -hmm. but it's the range, it's in the range of the arc sine function. Mm 